Hey guys, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. In today's video, we are going to raise the shoulder in a men's jacket. So let's go. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. This is the jacket that I need to raise the shoulders and you can see the mark in here, more or less with the measurement. This is a job that is not the easiest one, but if we are careful, we can do it. This is the mark that I made when the customer put it on. What I do is I try on the customer and check that everything is straight and symmetrical, and then I mark it. As you can see, the original shoulder has six inches, which is pretty much standard. And my customer needed a little bit smaller than the standard, around five inches and three eight approximately so i'm gonna mark that but i will be using this pen because i need to iron that so much that if i use the heat erase then i will lose my mark and then i will feel a little bit uncomfortable so i will start by marking freehand my new armhole and then i will use my french curve to help me with that I will mark all my important points because that will be the reference to sew my sleeve back. I do that at the other side as well. And uh, I'm just checking that they are both different. So there is something wrong with this jacket. Like uh, this is a little of red flag that I then I have to check. I didn't like too much my first line because it didn't look too jackety. You know, the armhole has to have certain shape, like a noble shape, but not too oval. So I'm erasing it a little bit to make it a little bit better. You know, now the curb looks much better and nicer, both at the front and at the back. So now I can copy this curb in the opposite side. What I do, I go point by point just to make sure that they are both completely opposite curb and nice. You know what I do? I like to mark my reference point using thread because, you know, I'm just sure that they won't go anywhere. I like to color code. So I do one sleeve in one color and the other side in another color. Today I use blue and purple. Now is the time cha -cha -cha -cha, to remove the sleeves. I try to start from the lining, but there is not a specific order that you have to follow, of course. And then I try to go little by little. And you know, almost I forget to mark my points in the lining. I forget that like 30% of the time I'm working in jackets. So. And then I have to find those points in a more difficult way. And here you go. This is the inside of the jacket. If you haven't seen that before, it has the shoulder pads and the shoulder pads are a little bit more structured than regular shoulder pads. And then you have the chest piece that I'd say that this is the most important piece on a jacket. I see that the termination of the shoulder pads is a little bit rounded. It's not that big deal. And I will open now the sleeves. And you know, you have to be careful when you open these things because you don't wanna damage your material, of course. I do not show you so many men's alterations, but I probably do more men alterations than women because I have a trick with men. I can see that they did the sleeve, they ease it very well. So I probably won't have too much trouble by easing the sleeve back. I'm checking as well the shoulder pads and I'm going to open my second sleeve. I noticed that this shoulder has been raised before. I don't know, the customer probably wanted a little bit more, maybe because the other tailor that did that job didn't want it to do less than six inches because six inches is pretty standard. I don't know what happened, but I saw it on the customer and he really needed a little bit more. So I'm just will go ahead anyways. It's already everything open, right? And I'm going now and I'm marking half an inch seam allowance to cut it. I'm removing this tape so I can cut everything. 
And then I want to cut it, but I see that it's a little bit tricky to cut that because of the shoulder pads of all the materials inside. So I'm better going to baste that so I can cut it more comfortably. So anything, any material will shift and I will be all secure with that. And now I finished my first part. I'm going home. Now is tomorrow. <laughs> Yes, and I will keep uh, working on it. I'm removing my base and I'm snipping there because I don't want to sew everything in one step. I mean, big league people do it this way, but I prefer to go step by step. You know, even though I color code my sleeve, you really don't need to do that because the back of the sleeve is so high in reference to the front part. That is so easy to recognize the front and the back. But, you know, I'm dramatic. My sleeve is going there. And as I am measuring, I know that because they ease the sleeve so well, I don't really need to make too much effort in easing it a little bit more. I have to cut out a little bit of the shoulder pads to keep exactly the same proportions. And I'm gonna stitch back these shoulders. I did it as magic. And the last part I need to do is to cut the shoulders on the lining. For that, as you can see, I'm just making sure that inside with my hand is soft and nice and not to stretch, of course. And then I mark it with my pins in the edge and then I just mark it and cut it. Now I'm gonna sew back this little tape. This gives stability to the armhole and I'm just making sure to leave a little bit of the chest part outside so I can sew, as I told you, in two steps. So now is my time to sew back the sleeves. And you know, I have my marks and it will be very easy just to pin my four points and then sewing. Sometimes the point at the back, it might change a little bit because the points of the back is the one that not always is secure because the angle change, but the one at the top and the one at the bottom are the most important. So I'm pinning everything. I will shift a little bit the point because of the difference that it was before so I can more or less make them the same in both sleeves and wait you didn't tell us a trick that you use on men's alterations oh yes yes I, I, i'll tell you i'm pinning everything and i say like it's basically four points because it will be more comfortable for me and when you sit down in your machine you have to make sure that the body is well taught but the sleeve that I usually put it on top, you have to be easing it. And this is not a super ease that I'm doing just because it was so well eased already. They use a thread to ease it. So this time it's very easy. But I will show you in another video how to ease those sleeves because these are the biggest problem. Well, my secret with men is not really a secret. Men's are not to the shape they have curved to. And when I do an alteration for them, I accentuated the good curves. Male tailors sometimes say, oh, this is a man. And uh, they want to do everything straight. And that doesn't look good. Well, the sleeve is done. And I haven't ironed it yet. And as you can see, it's looking good. So I'm gonna go to my sewing machine again, and this time I will use the maximum length of the stitch to sew the rest of the chest part and everything. And now my sleeve is all secure and is looking really, really good. And my last step is of course to sew the sleeve lining. A very important trick that you can do is to open this seam like that like you cut it in the shoulders and this part of the seam, leave it open. But I won't do that 
just because if the customer need one quarter inch more, then I cannot give it to him. So I cannot do reduce and I don't like to do jobs without redo. So now I'm going to accommodate the lining to make sure that my lining is well put. I do it this way because I don't want to change the shape of my jacket. You know that the jacket has to have the shape concave in one part, you know, and you have to keep that. So this is uh, the only trick that you have to really take in account. And now I'm going and sewing by hand the lining to the armhole. And then after I will sew the sleeves as well by hand. You can do that by machine, but I'd rather do it by hand because it has a nicer tailored look. It takes a little bit more time, but at the end, the results are better. If you want to do by machine, you just have to open the lining in one of the sides to have better room and then you sew by machine the lining and then you close everything and then for sewing the sleeves i will use slip stitch by hand and this one is very easy it's not exactly slip stitch because um, i am really going back and forth so it's almost the slip stitch but uh, i start by doing one stitch and then I'm gonna fold my sleeves a little bit in the right point and then I go and insert my needle there and then I will go back and then I'm going forth, back, forth, back, forth. Like, it's like a slip stitch, but not really. And you know, I go all around and then when I finish, my jacket is all done. It's so great. Oops, oh, sorry. Uh, no, I have to do the other sleeve, yeah. Okay, so it's done. After it's done, then we are going to dry clean it and you know, just the regular dry clean process. So guys, uh, let me know in the comment if this is an alteration that you are considering doing. If you guessed in my yesterday's post that that was today's job, you got it. If you find this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Bye!